Here are the starters for race eight, the Isoba for three-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings. Number one, Mighty McIntosh, owned by Larry Binkley, Michelle Whitlock of Charleston, trained and driven by Larry Binkley. Two is Scooby, owned, trained, and driven by John David Finn of Newton. Number three, Johnny C, is owned by Steve Newcomb of Chicago and Terry Duffy of Lamont. Trained by Tex Motes, the driver is Dale Heitman. Number four is Sporty Mr. Grace, owned by Paula Smith of Valparaiso, Indiana. Amanda Smith, the trainer. Dan Knox, the driver. Number five is Fox Valley Typhoon, owned by Benita Simmons of Springfield, by Fergie and Lowe, Limited Liability Corporation of Denver, Colorado. Tom Simmons trains, and he will be the driver. Number six, Sports Fantasy, is owned by James and Sandra Zilli and John and Jackie Bootenshane of Illinois and Wisconsin, trained by John Bootenshane, Andy Miller in the bike. Number seven is Power Stoke and Man, owned or rather leased by Richard Strauss of Chicago, trained and driven by Fred Finn Jr. And here is number eight, Cody Classic, owned by Kelsey and Judy Scott of Moorhaven, Florida, trained by Fred Kelsey Scott Bellalagna, is in the bike. Post time is six minutes. Sports Fantasy is fractious behind the gate. He broke into a gallop, almost dove over the rail. Andy Miller had to finally wrestle him under control. Now Andy has managed to get the horse's mind back on business, at least for the time being. Moves up in the line. Here they come. Wow, he's been a handful. They're off and pacing, and Sports Fantasy is going to boil right out for the early lead and put that energy to better use. Fox Valley Typhoon is going to go with him. Mighty McIntosh gets away third, followed by Scooby, Johnny C, Sporty Mr. Grace on the outside, and then Power Stoke and Man and Cody Classic. Headed to the quarter-mile mark, Sports Fantasy moves by for the lead by some two lengths now. Fox Valley Typhoon is second by five. Mighty McIntosh is third by three as they move by the quarter-mile mark. And then Scooby, followed by Johnny C, a 28-second opening quarter. Further back, Sporty Mr. Grace is near the back of the pack with Power Stoken Man, and Cody Classic is last. Headed toward the half-mile mark, Sports Fantasy is on top, but only by a length. Fox Valley Typhoon is right behind him, second. Two and a half more to Mighty McIntosh, third. Another four lengths to Scooby, and then Johnny C, Sporty Mr. Grace, Power Stoken Man, and Cody Classic. Racing by the half-mile mark in 57 seconds. It is Sports Fantasy leading Fox Valley Typhoon. Top two still separated by a length. Mighty McIntosh a closer third. And then Scooby on the inside as they hit the far turn. There goes Johnny C. Moving outside of him, followed by Sporty Mr. Grace. Gap of two more lengths to Power Stoken Man and Cody Classic. Sports Fantasy approaching the three-quarter on a two-length lead, followed by Fox Valley Typhoon. Gap of three more to Mighty McIntosh, who has lost some ground on the turn. Johnny C. moves up third to his inside. Three-quarters, 125 and three. Sports Fantasy swings off the far turn on a five-length lead at the eighth bowl. Fox Valley Typhoon is racing in second. Johnny C. is third. Sporty Mr. Grace is fourth still seven lengths off the lead. Deep stretch here for Sports Fantasy. Under urging because Johnny C is coming. Johnny C charging after Sports Fantasy. Johnny C nails him by a half length. Sports Fantasy second, Sporty Mr. Grace third, 153 and one. Well, driver Dale Heitman with that victory pulls one spot closer to Andy Miller in the battle for leading driver of the meet. At the Illinois State Fair, Miller has nine wins. Heitman now has number eight under his belt. In the winner's circle, Dale Heitman with number three, Johnny C. Owned by Steve Newcomb of Chicago and Terry Duffy of Lamont. Johnny C is trained by Tex Motes, who is in the winner's circle next to co-owner Steve Newcomb. This winning pacer is a gelded son of Tattler's Torpedo, bred by John Liviakis of California. 153 and 1, a new lifetime record by nearly three full seconds for Johnny C. The rundown is next. 